Hey, what's up guys? It's DJ. In today's Farm Sub 22 video, we're going to be talking about how the game is getting NVIDIA DLSS and DLAA support at launch on PCs, meaning the players that are using RTX graphics cards will be able to achieve higher resolutions at higher frame rates thanks to NVIDIA's new AI technologies. There's also something very similar with AMD, Fidelity FX Super Sampling. This will be available as well for AMD graphics card users. This feature can be used on the newer hardware like the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X as well, but Giants haven't said anything about that. In today's video, we will be talking specifically about NVIDIA users playing on PC. To start off, we need to talk about what DLSS and DLAA are and how they benefit your gameplay. DLSS stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling, an AI rendering technology that increases graphics performance by using dedicated Tensor Core AI processors on graphics cards of the GeForce RTX series, all the way down to the RTX 2070 and all the way up to the 3090. If you own one of these or anything in between, you're going to be able to take full advantage of DLSS. This technique renders frames at a lower resolution than displayed, but by using AI deep learning, the frames are then upscaled again, filling in the missing information so that they look as sharp as you would expect at the native resolution. Because the frames are rendered at lower resolutions than upscaled, you're getting the benefit of higher frame rates, but also getting high quality images on screen. It's a really cool feature, and Farming Simulator 22 will benefit greatly from this technology. Farming Simulator 22 will also be getting support for DLAA, NVIDIA's Deep Learning Anti-Aliasing, an anti-aliasing feature that is basically DLSS with the upscaling portion removed from the process. The AI is focusing on better anti-aliasing instead of upscaling the image like DLSS, NVIDIA's AI is focusing on improving anti-aliasing at the native resolution. The TLDR is DLSS and DLAA work kind of the same way, but DLSS is for an acceptable image quality with big performance while DLAA is for high quality. Performance versus quality. You've probably seen these two words used in newer games like Forza Horizon 5 and recently released GTA Trilogy Definitive Editions. Performance and quality are two of the settings that can be changed back and forth, giving you the best gaming experience possible for your situation. Enabling DLSS in the game settings means a beautiful, sharp image without a heavy impact on the frame rate. With DLSS enabled, you can output Farming Simulator 22 in 4K, while it is in reality only rendered in 1080p. The image is upscaled by the smart AI, which fills in the missing information. So, you render the game at 1080p or 1440p, DLSS fills in all the missing information, and the result is a higher frame rate without noticeable losses in image quality compared to 4K. Enabling DLAA means that you get a sharper image at the native resolution directly. It is designed to smooth the edges between pixels, which creates this stair-stepping effect. DLAA is more efficient alternative to anti-aliasing techniques like MSAA, DAA, and FXAA while aiming to provide a clear and smooth image even in motion. So if your RTX graphics cards can handle the native resolution that you aim for, DLAA basically just sharpens that image using AI. If you don't own a 1440p or 4K screen, DLSS and DLAA will still have a positive impact on your gaming experience, making a higher frame rate more attainable. Instead of a higher resolution, you achieve a higher frame rate. The game will be that much more better. Both of them will be added. It's going to be great. As I said before, there is an AMD technology similar to these called Fidelity FX Super Resolution, which will be part of the game for PC users using AMD graphics cards from the RTX 460 all the way up to the new X cards in the 6000 series. Even NVIDIA users can take advantage of Fidelity FX Super Resolution if you own anything from the GTX 10 series or the 16 series or up you're good to go. However, Giants have not said if Farming Simulator 22 will support this or not on consoles. It could, as the new consoles, PlayStation 4 and Xbox Series, do support it, but we're just gonna have to wait and see once the game is released to find out if we're gonna be getting this as an option on new consoles or just on PC. Speaking of, Farming Simulator 22 will be releasing on Monday, November 22nd, 2021 on PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and Google Stadia. If you guys are on PC and would like to pre-order the game now or the year one season pass or both together, check out the links below and make sure you use code DJGOHAM. Those links go to help support the channel at no additional cost to you and 100% of the proceeds from Farming Simulator 22 pre-orders go back into giveaways. So if you can't get the game, you're still going to have a chance to get one of the giveaways. I want to make sure that everyone that wants to play this game is able to. And thank you to everyone who's used that code so far and helped support the channel. You guys are rock stars. If you have any questions at all about Farming Simulator 22, the new AI rendering technology addition to the game, giveaways, or anything else, post those in the comment section below. 
And check out the description for helpful links to other things you may be interested in as well. You can also find the FS22 playlist link there so you can see every bit of information that has been announced so far for Farming Simulator 22. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video and hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss any future Farming Simulator 22 content, daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All we said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.